Hey there, how's it going? It's uh, Mift Crew here. Uh, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to make things smaller in Source Field Maker. Uh, this was requested by the team Minecraft, so uh, yes, let's jump into this. How you do it is that to make the whole body smaller, what I normally do is that uh, I basically, so we have the model over here, uh, in this case it's Foxy. Uh, you click on this plus button and uh, you'll see this body thingy right here you click on the plus button next to that and then you see where it says root transform this is basically what moves well everything uh, right click on that and then click add scale control uh, to transforms and then after you've done that uh, at the bottom of the body thingy right here, section if you want to call it, forward or whatever, uh, you'll see root transform scale. So uh, also you'll see this uh, little rectangle uh, box right here, which I have root transform scale in it as well. And it's uh, not all the way up, but mostly down, but not all the way down. Uh, basically if you uh, left click and hold and drag it to the right, uh, the character will go bigger. So you have giant foxy right here. Uh, and to undo that, let's just hold down control and tap Z. And to make him smaller, we can just drag it to the left. Uh, we can even make him invisible by doing this and uh, dragging it all the way completely, and then we can't even see him. So, yes. Uh, scales can also be used for uh, swapping heads, but that would be for a different tutorial. Uh, also an another thing that I want to show with scaling saying if we had an object or a character uh, that you wanted to be big but when you drag it all the way to the top uh, it's still not big enough so taking this spider for example here uh, we want it to be let's say bigger than foxy right here but you see the problem is when we drag it all the way up uh, okay, that actually is pretty big, I have to say. That is one big spider right there, but uh, more to the point here, it isn't as uh, big as Foxy. Okay, maybe if it stood up on two legs, then it might be perhaps, but no, we want it to be bigger than Foxy on four or eight legs to be precise. So, basically, the way you do that is that you click on the scale. You have to right click on the scale, uh, then uh, not the scale here, but this scale right here then click reramp slider and basically uh, the max is 10 uh, now if you increase that let's say to 100 then you will notice that the root transform thingy right here will go uh, shorter and if we drag it all the way to the right again you can we can clearly see this is uh, this even the pizza wheel can't actually hold the spider in it so big so uh, that's basically how you uh, how you do that. Basically, is to make things. It's to change the maths of how things, of how big something can get. Basically, so yeah. Now, saying if you wanted two objects to be the same size as each other, uh, let's say we want uh, to make this arm bigger, and we want this arm to be bigger, but the same size as this other arm right here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to add the root transform scale, uh, add scale control to the, uh, I mean, to this soldier, which controls the whole of the arm. Uh, let's just make it bigger, well, smaller, doesn't really matter. Let's make it bigger in this video. And now, to make it exactly this, to make this arm exactly the same size as this arm, uh, we're going to, uh, you know where we control the uh, scale of this arm right here? We basically uh, double click right here. Uh, I'll show you that again. So we got where you control uh, the arm size and then you double click on it with the left mouse. And then you see numbers basically. You left click and drag over these numbers and that will highlight them. You hold down control and then tap Z 
And then what you're gonna wanna do then is go to the other one right here and uh, right click on the bone uh, over here. Add scale control to that. So left click on it. And then basically double click on this slider right here again basically which is used to control the uh, the uh, scale and uh, we're basically going to highlight the numbers here uh, we're going to delete them we're going to hold down control and tap the V button this time and then we we'll click and then we're going to click enter and now Foxy has a uh, huge arms which uh, are already exactly the same size that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial I just want to say thank you to the team Minecraft for uh, for sharing his ideas with me and uh, yeah that's pretty much all for now thank you for watching it's Miftcrew here and I'll be back with more videos coming soon goodbye